hey guys it's amber here thank you so much for joining me today on my channel plan aloud and today is of course going to be a fun plan with me and this is my favorite sheet my currently page with that being said let's jump right in here's my sheet if you don't know i use let's see let me pull it out as of right now I'm using this cardstock sheet from by Staples. It's just Staples brand. And I already have it cut down, just not punched. And then these are the books I'm going to use. Halloween and Dios de los Muertos and Mojo Jojo Plans Black Boxes. And I have two books. And I also pulled in these super skinny washies. And these are by um, Happy Planner as well. Okay. So, I actually want to set this up quite differently than any of my other currently pages because I can honestly say, although I love doing them, I have been getting bored with them. So, I'm actually going to kind of break up my page in some different ways and put some fun stuff down. So, let's just jump right in. Also... <laughs> I didn't really pick a theme I just said I'm using a black this like peachy color in the book and gray and that's where we're going if you haven't been here before hey I'm Amber and if you have been here before thanks for joining me again okay so we need letters first for October currently and this book is perfect it already has like spooky letters let me actually get a sheet to see how this is going to work because I want to go between both letters because I do not have enough black to actually write everything out. So I'm just going to kind of jump around. Ooh. Oh, yeah, see, I already need to pull that one. Nope, I can use that one. Wish what it came out better. Yeah, I didn't notice this book only came with two C's. Um, yeah, strange. Everybody is doing fantastic because I'm doing great. Gonna use this all because a little bit of the paper peeled off for some odd reason unless I just have to here let me just grab my Y now oops wrong way And I did that because I did not have enough black seats. I don't think they'll all fit on the same line, so I'm gonna try this trick. It usually does not work out very well for me, but here goes anything. I'm just gonna line it up and I'll only do the October on here and then I'll do 
the other one off screen just so you guys can see hopefully I can actually get it right I don't want it too perfect but I do want it to at least be cute you know so guys I've been a crazy person running around getting all my things done I'm so tired <laughs> You ever have one of those weeks where you just like feel like the most wiped out? That's how I feel. And it's only Wednesday. <laughs> oh boy. That's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna do currently and I'll be back. Okay guys, so that's what it looks like. It's super cute. I am going to now separate it with some washi. I am going to just kind of divide my pages with some of this washi. Just so I just have some different, you know, spots. Hopefully this will be nice and even. I'm thinking I'm getting an idea as I'm sitting here doing this. And hopefully... It will come out although this washi um, is bronze I think I'm gonna use um, I think I'm gonna use those diamonds in the book that I've been like hoarding I think I'm gonna use those I think I want this to be like mystical kind of page I guess and I'm going to just do a double layer with this block as well because I'm obsessed with, I'm obsessed with it. It's cute. I hope this comes out cute since I'm doing something completely different you know I hope this comes out super cute because I'm doing something completely different you know I just hope it's even you know just I'm always hoping you know sometimes you can't be too uh I don't know. Can't be too certain how things are gonna come out. You know, you have an idea in your head, and then it it doesn't come out nearly <laughs> how you wanted it. Oh, well, my washi isn't perfect. It's definitely not super straight, and my bottom washi isn't as close to my pink washi as I wanted it to be. But I'm not gonna go back and fix it, guys. Nope, not this time. Okay. So let's go into black boxes. Mojo Jojo's black boxes. Let's see. I think it's this one. So this is my older book and this is my newer book. And this is the one that has like the big stripe boxes in it. That I'm looking for. There they are. For a long time I like wasn't the biggest fan biggest fan of this, but now I am becoming the biggest fan of it, so there you go. Oops, let's grab a header first. Guess I do need neutral boxes. Should have probably grabbed neutral boxes to begin with because I believe there's black boxes in here and there should be a striped one. Oh, nope, I used them all. JK. So let's take a look at this one let's see here they are let's see what gray goes with it I think it's gonna be definitely the darker gray so let's grab our header Nope. B. 
because if I want the diamonds to be dancing, or the, they need to be down a little bit further, so. Let's put this about here. And this one about here. I don't know if I really need a header considering the top of the page says currently. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know if I actually need a header box now that I'm truly thinking about it. I'm like mad, really messing up my page here. Okay, so let's bring it down to about here. And let's look in here. I want to put a quote here. Maybe we should do it in the, like, if we have one in a pinky kind of color. Pinky peach. I don't know if those are what we're doing. Then let's see if we have one with, like, fun words. I know there's... I know there's one in here that we just have to be patient and find it. That was closer to the back, but I could be incredibly mistaken. Nope. Maybe it's this. Hello, pumpkin. Yeah, it is this. Unbelievable. Um, I really like the let's get spooky. Hello pumpkin. It seems more like just fall, not necessarily Halloween. Just trying something different. I don't know. Maybe this one. So guys, I have been like obsessing over the new Blink-182 album. I have listened to it a bunch of times. And it makes me so, so happy. Um, I was talking to my friend Jasmine about it. She's the, uh, my friend that I went to go see Blink-182 with. And she's like my only friend that like understands like the obsession. <laughs> and I was telling her that I freaking love this album. And I have to say that this album is it's making me incredibly happy, like, ever since I've been listening to it. It's, I've been in such a great mood this week. It could be because I have a new niece and a new nephew. It could be because of this new album. I have no clue. I don't really care. Because that's how much I love it. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to separate these off as well. And I think let's actually just separate it by the pink, considering we have two black ones up there. So let's do pink down here. I might add another line. I'm not sure. We'll see. I wanted a, a spread that was just kind of like, very kind of like, thoughtfully kind of put down I feel like I mean I feel like I put most of them together like kind of thoughtfully and not like sloppily or not thought about but um I guess I want to say with a little bit more structure this time is what I'm trying to say yeah I like that I don't know how I feel about this it doesn't feel as like bright and popping to me but we'll keep moving 
what I think it's in this box or in this one I don't know where I would have put it but let's see yep I just didn't want this random gray one in here we are gonna put this one here Four monthly gold. Put this down here. And I think I tried to show you guys this in the last one and it didn't work out so great. Hopefully, I get it right this time. <laughs> Actually, I need to cut a little bit more off since I left that line there, you know? So I'm just going and cut a little bit off to shorten it up. It's never going to be perfect. It's not to be perfect, it's just to be somewhat accurate. And I still don't think I got the accuracy. But I can see the line so I can draw it in. I am going to take my Muji and my straight edge and draw that line in, hopefully. All right, that's pretty good. Your girl is not good at drawing straight lines let me tell you <laughs> so I just need to adjust this maybe I will get another gray one just for the heck of it to match you know I don't know I don't know what I'm doing is that kind of in the middle So, I am going to write all this in, and then I'll be back. So, here it is. Here's everything that I have written down. And, um, these are my current faves. And, I did way more and a little bit different than what I have done in the past. So, right now I'm listening to, of course, Blink-182, the whole album. But, this particular song is called Blink Wave. And, it's like a take on their old stuff meshed with synth wave which is like like the cure like those kind of bands from the 80s like a little bit new wave it's so good it's so dancey it is it is just chef's kiss so good i'm obsessed before i recorded this i think i listened to it five times because it is my new favorite song and um this isn't even my new favorite song it's one of the um, my next one is jungle and it's called back on 74 this one also came out this year but it came out in august i believe it was august 10th and the band is so cool and they basically have like a video for their whole album and they do all these amazing dances. The The choreo is phenomenal. The actual sound is like, it feels incredibly fresh, but very inspired by the 70s. I mean, everything about it is just so good and so dancey, but it's like got like a calm feel. It is um, very Motown 70s is what it is. It's so good. Okay, and then under listening, I also have to give like an honorable mention just because I didn't have enough room to put it down. And this was a song that I was just loving at the very beginning of this month. And I do have to say loving. 
and it's the song Calm Down by Rima and Selena Gomez. I love both versions, don't get me wrong, but the one with Selena Gomez is just so dang good. Just like the Caribbean sounds with the like drums and the bass and the beat and it's just so dancey but um you feel like if you're dancing with your partner is like very sensual it's it's just just like a very lovely song it's if you haven't heard this you must be under a rock i'm sorry it came out earlier this year um i don't even know exactly but i know it came out first half of the year but I just discovered that version because I've been listening to the other version. Okay, reading. I've been reading Everywhere That Mary Went. It's like a thriller or suspenseful. Same difference. Cooking. If you've been here watching my videos, you know I've been making the tofu peanut bowls. My son is jamming on it. And then loving. And it's just all the new family life. We've been gathering with family, um, you know, celebrating new life coming into the world and, you know, just getting together and like being around family just like brings me so much joy and so much peace. And um, it's just, it's, it's honestly have been what has been starting off a lot of like my sadness and depression. Um, it's something I didn't realize I needed because I love both sides of my family so so much like my you know my my birth family and then my married and family and um, I'm just incredibly thankful for both and um, the joy that they bring me and then dreaming I am dreaming of going to the Blink-182 concert next July it's July 6th or 7th I believe and I would love to go. My pocketbook is saying something very, very different. Um, I already talked to a friend who said we might because next year is a big birthday. I turn 40. So it's kind of a big deal. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> and feeling, I'm feeling overjoyed. I think you guys can hear it in my voice. I am just thrilled. I'm just really happy. Um, that's why I say overjoyed because I feel like that I feel like that expresses the happiness like to more of an extent than just regular you know happy celebrating three new babies as of right now only two have arrived but we are definitely waiting on the third we are so excited the first two are just so stinking cute cannot wait to meet that third baby and then I've been watching a ton of YouTube lately and what I've been watching specifically is The Graceful Baker and she just does amazing decorating. She like the only videos I've seen from her are her decorating just sugar cookies and they are beautiful and they're intricate and it, they're flawless um I just seen one today and it was just a bunch of different watermelons it was so cool I'm obsessed and like I like to watch it silent because I don't like always like the music she chooses and it's great ASMR and I do not like ASMR guys I can't stand it I don't want to hear people chewing or clicking or touching no thanks but hers are very very good if you want to check that out some of my monthly goals are morning affirmations nightly meditation declutter weekly and work out daily I feel like these are things that I used to do and stop doing that are actually on my goals for this year to do that are kind of falling off been having a very hectic year guys you guys know so this is something that I want to like kind of continue throughout the whole year or the remainder of the year we only got two and a half months left guys wild <laughs> okay so we're back in our Halloween book let's go over here okay so I am obsessed with this I don't know if I want to use it though I'm obsessed with it I want to use it though 
So let's do some of this. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't start with such a huge one. Maybe I'll do this one like here just to not be so like big and bold. And let's mix it in with some stars. You know? Let's do one of these cute little stars. Let's do this actually. Like maybe I don't want it all the way covering, you know? Let's do another little star. I like how this one looks. Let's put this one here. Let's put this. It's massive. It's quite absurd right there. Let's get a little star. You know. Be a little more mild. Put that one there. I'm liking it so far, guys. Crystals, that's what they're called. I'm just trying to like think of the word. <laughs> you know, sometimes we're just ridiculous. Or is that just a me thing? Do you guys call yourself out when you're being ridiculous? I love calling myself out because sometimes I'm just so silly, guys. Just gotta admit it. It's okay to be weird and quirky and different. We all are. And that's okay. I am obsessed with the stars and the crystals, guys. I love this. Let's see. Maybe there's a section that has pink stars. That would be awesome. Just to like bring something else in. I don't want to bring in any spiders. That just, I feel it just wouldn't go, you know? Ooh, these ones. Because they're black and pink, you know? Ooh, yep. Yes, sirree, Bob. Ooh, that, I don't know why that, me saying that, made me want to watch King of the Hill. Don't ask me why. I love King of the Hill, though. Maybe that's what... I still watch cartoons all the time. Um, for a minute, I was super into Scooby-Doo. I, I still love Scooby-Doo. But, um, and if you don't know, Hulu has Scooby-Doo on it. Or not Hulu. HBO, I believe. One of those two. I know it's one of the ones with H. I know they just changed it over to Max, but I still call it... what it was originally. Let's put this one here. I want to use all the stars on this page, so bear with me while I scoopy them all up. There's only three left. I know it's getting kind of crazy and kind of crowded, but I feel like that is what should be happening. Okay, where's my other white star? I don't want to put these close together. Oh, I have two on there already. Huh. 
let's keep all the white stars in here in this section and for some reason this star has to go down here even though it's going to get crowded I want this one to come over here Boop. and this one to come here because there's like no pink down here and that's some washi on the back okay guys this is it i freaking love this i may or may not bring in some pins i'm not sure in um to highlight oh what i should have done is put a star next to these let's not be done quite yet because i left space right here specifically for that reason <laughs> uh, i completely forgot i i'm a silly lady i don't have enough of these ones and i, I really don't want to peel these up you know do these come up? Oh, guys, these come up. This is amazing. Let me get... I did not know these were stars. Guys, I'm... A, oops. I completely separated that from its backing. Which is fine because I seen this and I wanted to use a double star. <laughs> That's fun. Let me see if I could find another double star just so this it doesn't look like I'm starring like decluttering as like Girl, this is what you need to do. I want both. Oh my gosh. That's even cuter. I don't know how. Stars just make everything better. Alright. So I didn't use too much. I used the Happy Planner Washi. Super skinny. You might be able to get this at Joann's or Michael's or even on Happy Planner. I'm not sure. And then Halloween and Dias de los Muertos. Mojo Jojo Plants Black Boxes. And Mojo Jojo Plants Neutral Boxes. If you like this, you should definitely give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe, comment, click the notification so you'll be notified when I post content. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed this and like the new way that I've done my currently page this month. And remember to have a beautiful one and to try something new. Bye guys.